Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Or if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Dana. I upload a new video at least once a week. So if you haven't already, now is a great time to subscribe to my channel so you can stay on top of all of those new videos. So this really sweet lady reached out to me on Instagram and asked if I'd be interested in receiving a free kettle in um, exchange for making a video. And it looks like a really fantastic kettle, so I said yes. So I thought we would unbox it together. I took off the top of the box because it had like my address and everything, but it's really cool. It's variable temperature and it's like a gooseneck one. I love the kettle I have. I'm not thinking that I'm gonna like completely replace it, but this looks really nice. So let's unbox it, try it out, see everything we can learn about this particular variable temperature kettle. I literally will not consider a kettle that is not variable temperature. Like now that I've had a variable temperature kettle, I just, I could never go back. Like I love Smeg appliances. I think they're the cutest. They're like the most aesthetic, like retro, colorful appliances. I have a Smeg uh, toaster that is just the cutest thing in my life, but they have, they have a kettle and I cannot get it because it only boils the water. And I like green tea, I like oolong tea, and boiling water is like just not acceptable for those. If you boil your water and then pour it straight over green tea, it'll completely burn it, it'll be bitter, it'll taste bad. So I highly recommend that when you are shopping for a kettle, whatever you end up with, you definitely want something, variable temperature, if you are a tea lover like me. So that being said, this is the Ula Lov, U-L-A-L-O-V, gooseneck kettle, stainless steel lid, stainless steel spout, stainless steel interior, all stainless steel, auto off, BPA free, leak proof design, boil dry protection, and keep warm feature. So let's open it up. Piece of cardboard on the top. Looks like here is the bottom piece. Here is the actual kettle. And then is there instructions? I think there were. Oh yeah, here we are, here we are. Ula Love Gooseneck Kettle, user manual. So here it just shows like a little diagram of what everything is. So rotate the knob to select the preset temperature. That is so cool. So you rotate the knob, it's not just like buttons. Like the one I have right now has like a green tea, oolong, black tea, and coffee like boil button but this i think it still has like the presets but you turn it oh that's so cool this feels really luxurious like this feels so fancy so same kind of thing it has like different presets for different tea types and we have 175 for green tea 185 for white tea, 190 for oolong, 200 degrees for coffee, and 212, which is boiling for black. Oh, and this is cool. To the degree, I'm not sure what this button is, if you could like really fine tune it to like exactly the degree of temperature you're looking for. And then you can mute it. So if you don't want your kettle to beep, you can hold this down for three seconds and it'll mute it for you. And the keep warm feature. This is really nice too if you're like me and you are planning on like, you know when you have a really serious tea day where you're like working from home or you're doing some sort of task where you're sitting so you're like, okay, I need to have a cup of tea like every, like I finish a cup, I have a new cup, I finish a cup, I make a new cup. You know, like cup after cup after cup kind of day. The keep warm feature is perfect for that so I like that it has that and I'm thinking actually my house is so small like it's like a just for two people we have a little office we have our bedroom we have a nice like spacious living room and um kitchen but it's really no problem to walk to the kitchen from anywhere in the house but what I'll maybe do is make a little setup in the office especially for maybe when Gerald works from home so he can like make tea I don't know if he would like he likes tea not as much as I do but maybe I'll set it up in the office and put like tea bags so it's easy to like dispose of and like have oh I'm like dreaming I just like redid my office too I just put in these beautiful shelves that Gerald got me for Christmas 
So um, I'm like, um, the sky is the limit in my mind now as far as what I can do in the office. But um, that would be really cool, even though it's no issue ever to like get up and walk to the kitchen to make a cup of tea. But it's, it would be kind of nice to have like a little setup there for if, I don't know, you're having one of those days. So let's see the actual kettle. Wow, look at that, that is fancy. Wow, this is like bringing back memories when I used to work at Starbucks and I'd make pour overs. We didn't have like kettles, like gooseneck kettles, but we had like the pitchers. Like it was like just a pitcher with a gooseneck, but that's how, how we'd make a pour over. I'm not very good at it. I don't really know like the right way to do it, but um, you're supposed to like pour in a circular motion and all these different specific things of how to make a coffee pour over. So this kind of opens my options to that too, as if we don't have enough ways to make coffee in this house. Um, we have like cold brew makers, we have espresso machine, we have French presses, we have a little bit of everything. But let's go ahead and add one more to the mix and get a set of four pour overs. So this looks really nice. Um, it feels like the handle is made of plastic, which is really important actually, because there are some stovetop kettles that the handle gets so hot that you have to wear an oven mitt to like grab it and pour your tea. So I hope the handle stays nice and cool and doesn't get really hot. The inside has like a max line. I don't know what this line is. 0.3 liter measurement line. But oh, there's nothing better than like a gorgeous new clean kettle. Look at that, so satisfying. No buildup of any kind. But I think the next thing to do would be to plug it in, fill it with some water and try it out. All right, here's what we're looking at. I put some water in here. It's about halfway up. So here it says 65. 65 degrees. So I guess that's what the temperature is of the water in here right now. And it is, it's it's cool. So I definitely believe that. Um, so then we can turn it. So here's the 175, the green tea. 185 for white tea. 190 for oolong. The 200 for coffee and 212 to boil for your black tea. Let's see what this one does, the to the degree. Oh my gosh, okay, so yeah, you could set it exactly to what you like. Oh my God, that's amazing. I wonder if it does it any lower than 175. Oh, it does, okay, that's great. Cause you know how sometimes like you want your tea sooner than later but it's like too too hot to drink but you're like oh i wish it was a little cooler like you want to drink it faster so that is fantastic that it can go lower and i do like the led display here that's really it feels futuristic and like luxurious and fancy so let's just go ahead and set it on mm, how do we get this back to how it was yeah, 175, so. Oh my God, that is so cool. It shows, I don't know if you can see, it shows the temperature climbing. So right now it's like 82 degrees and it's going up. That is so futuristic and incredible. And then I'll check back in as soon as we are at our 175. So we are heating up and it's making noise. It's like starting to heat up. And the handle still feels really cool. We're at, we're at like 135 degrees almost. And the handle doesn't feel hot at all, but the actual kettle does, so that is great. I just wanna see like what the beep sounds like when it beeps and everything. And I feel like it's actually heating up really fast. Probably because there's not a whole lot of water in there. This is like a more compact kettle, so this is better for like, if you use a smaller cup. For me, I feel like this would be like two cups and done. All right, we're getting close. And it's great too, because you could always pull it early. Like if you see it hit like 165, you could just be like, you know what, I'm gonna do that. And just, you know, use it before it gets to that 175. Nice beep sound. <laughs> 
all right, if we were to be making a tea now, we would be good to go. And then, let's see, we can press keep warm. And 20 minutes, I think, hold. So I believe it'll hold then for that amount of time. Oh, I think so. Is this two hours then? I'm not really sure how long it'll keep it hot, but that's really, really nice. Um, again, for if you're gonna be making a few different cups or if you have guests and they're kind of picking which tea they want. So let me put you back up so we can um, go through our final thoughts. So this is a pretty nice fancy kettle. I love the LED display. I love that it counts up the degrees with you so you know like exactly where you're at. My kettle was much more expensive, like the one I use now was much more expensive than this is and mine like doesn't do that so i'm kind of like man maybe i am going to switch them out for me it would be the size if this was like double the size and it was like comparable in size i probably would switch to this one but since it is like a little small for me um i'm just gonna use it as an extra i think set up a little station in my office which will be so cool if you are in need of a new kettle i can link this one for you Otherwise, like this would make an awesome Valentine's Day gift if your partner is into tea. Uh, there's nothing better than a variable temperature kettle. Let me look up so I can remember exactly how much this one was. So this particular kettle, it looks like runs $80. So if you are looking for a really nice, thoughtful Valentine's Day gift for your partner or someone you love who really loves tea. And I am excited about the gooseneck feature. I think I am probably going to end up picking up stuff so I can make coffee pour overs. But anyway, thank you so much to my new friend for sending me this awesome kettle. It really is like a luxury kettle. <laughs> But anyway, I hope you found this kettle review interesting. I hope you're having a great start to a fresh new year, and I hope you're having a beautiful day, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.